going now. Okay. All right. Quiet on the set. This is the most important part of the night. Oh, boy, I forgot. Man. I know you've paid money for God. what you guys about ready to do, <laughs> but that's not important. Yeah, that's not important. Y'all paid your hard-earned money to train, but that don't matter. Oh. This, this freed your South TV. Mm -hmm. That's right. I didn't even wear the jacket for the uh, documentary. Hey. Kira, come over here. I want you to watch this. Kira's my special guest here to see live TV. Okay. Well, it's not really really said she come to see you, but I ain't giving her credit for that. Yeah, let, let, let Cedric complain about going to Baltimore. Let me show my check stuff, boy. <laughs> Please. You're still hot about that $10 license, aren't you? I'm still hot. Man, that, that commit. Let me get over closer to Sunny's chair. We're not, we haven't. No, we, I'll, I'll pan you over, George. Okay, okay. It's a little thing that can... Well, it looks like we broke up already. Uh, well, well, I don't like that. I know. We haven't broke up yet. No, Sunny's chair. We were together Friday night, Jack. That's right, we were. It's okay. Well, all right, Kara, you get a live, live show, there. baby doll. Okay, boy, we got everything? I think yeah. I think we got it. Okay, very over. I like the short look. Well, yeah. Exactly. I got a different shirt on. Seems like I've been doing a lot of talking. That's, yeah, it has been. That ain't no different than any other. Hey, right. Go up there, go film it. Okay, you ready? Yeah, very good. Still got a little bit left? Jones. I got a lot in me, buddy. You got a lot in you? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Arn Anderson, thank you. Your friend. Arn Anderson says, oh, I'll say it on camera. Look, after we start. Oh, sure. Well, yeah. You ready, sir? You ready yeah, to serious? I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Dad, You Don't Work, That's You Wrestle. Uh, you hear the claps. That's right. You know what time it is. We kicked somebody off already. Of course, yes, we have. And uh, George, how was your weekend? Boy, let me, you know, every week we start off and everybody says, we even got an email this week saying, every one of his weeks can't be good weeks. Goof, it is a good week. It was a real good week. We're uh, here. That was a good week. Anytime, <laughs> anytime we're both together and ain't some other body else filling in, it's a good week. But I had a great week, Bullet. As you know, three big shows. Sonny and Cher were together Friday night. The reunion tour, the first and probably the last booking of the reunion tour, was back together. We uh, we killed the town and uh, sold a few books while we was at it. Saturday, went uh, West Virginia bound. Uh, had a great show up there. Uh, TV taping and all that. Had a good match up there. Sold some books up there. And probably one of my favorite shows so far this year, uh, until this coming week, of course. Well, Sunday night, of course, the big famous there uh, in Knoxville, the Brad Armstrong Memorial Show Bullet, which I would not have missed that. Uh, of course, I missed Father's Day being with my kids and stuff, but they were happy for that. But uh, I did go, and the whole Armstrong family was there. Boy, it was just a tremendous crowd, and I told uh, Bullet Bob that I would personally like to thank everybody that came to that event that watches George South TV, because we know it's all over the world. The place was sold out. Uh, seriously, everybody thought I made this up, but the building guy there said it was an all uh, uh, the high attendance record for any event in that facility. So I was pretty excited about that bullet. Had uh, Brad's wife and little girl there, uh, and just got to love on them and tell them how much we appreciated Brad. And I tell you that the Armstrong family, as you know, bullet, just a strong, strong family, and everybody loves them. And it was just good to see some old friends, you know. And of course, I uh, uh, got to see Eddie Gilbert's brother. Doug. Got to see, I hadn't seen him in years, and Jimmy Gold and all those guys. And yes. Uh, the rumors out. I was everybody say, wants to know. I was Listen, forget to. I heard the rumor. I wanted. Everybody I wanted wants to know. Hey, this is George South TV. Dad, you don't work. We would old. not lie. Exclusive. Oh, this, this is, is exclusive. exclusive. Okay. No it, this is exclusive. I, I, I want footage of this. If there's footage, uh, I gotta find this. We gotta find it because nobody believes it. But Mr. Number One here, the, same, the, the the person that all of you folks say doesn't work hard, doesn't take a bump. Hey, black cameraman, how you doing up there? Okay. Uh, he's anyway, not a racist. He's not a racist. Just throw that in there. He, he, I'm not a racist, okay? okay? I love everybody. But uh, as long as you buy a book. But anyway, getting back to this bullet, first time ever. You know, I took every, I took every finish in the world, yes, bullet. You, you know that. And you prided yourself on that. I, I take very good pride in that I'm still standing, thanks to Elton John, uh, after taking every finish. You get that? That was one of, that was one of Elton's top songs. I think it was Elton, I think. Okay. But anyway... Uh, <laughs> It wasn't, then, I'm sorry, folks, I'll get a letter on that. But anyway, boy, first time ever, I've never took, not this, everybody thinks I'm talking about a suplex. No, I've took many of those, but the superplex, listen, Bob Orton Jr. invented that. Way before anybody, uh, uh, Super D, any of those guys from Texas was doing the superplex, uh, Bob Orton Jr. So I had never took it, I, I, I wanted to, and so I suggested to Bob Orton Jr., and of course, you know, buddy, he agreed, and yes, uh, we did both climb to the top rope. And I didn't have some smart aleck say, yeah, well, the rope was, the ring was probably this far off the ground. No, give me credit. Boy, I climbed to the top rope. It took me a while. But Still, I climbed, even if it was. Tell me about it. You're old. <laughs> Listen, when a 70-year-old guy goes to the top, that's impressive. 
I'm telling you, boy, me just climbed into the bathtub is impressive. <laughs> but anyway, I took the Superplex, boy, it was the greatest thing. I, I've seen a small picture, but someone's going to send me some, I, we'll, we will get exclusive footage of this. I mean, you've got the Loch Ness Monster, you've got Sasquatch, and then you've got Mr. Number One and Bob Orton Jr. coming off that top rope for a Superplex. So there was a great, great night. Of course, uh, just a great time. Uh, every now and then, pro wrestling gets it right. Bullet. But on a side note, because I'm in such a good mood, I'm so happy. But you know, I love everybody. You know, but all I do is I. Well, live, that's a debatable point. Well, <laughs> but, you know, I, I live in my little cult. You know, yes. there at Headlock Ranch. I've we, got we all, can pick up a different word other than cult. That's a lot less. Well, angry. you know, I got all my kids brainwashed to where they think I'm just like the greatest. Choose your kid words carefully. Uh, awesome, George. right. Let's and see. I don't mess with anybody. I love, I love everybody, there as you go. know, boy. Oh, okay, of course, yes. but this is my point exactly, and then I'm gonna move on about this great book that I ain't even talked about yet. I got another case coming this week, but you know, one of our students here uh, just made a comment that he's gonna be training. And this is the life George South lives, okay? And I, I love my students more than anything. They're my children, as you know, Bullet. You're my oldest kid. Uh, you, you're trying to leave home, but I won't let you. Uh, but anyway, because listen, I know there ain't no George South TV without you. Listen, I ain't stupid. Listen, I ain't one of these goons that buys the hand that feeds me, Jack. You understand? But anyway, that's beside note. But that's you won't let Tully go work for Jim. I Crockett. will not let Tully work for anybody. But here's what made me mad, boy. He just posted, hey, you know, and he had some uh, knee, knee trouble stuff. He's getting back in the ring. He's doing so good, and he just posted something on Facebook, which I hate Facebook. Listen, I'm the only person in America. I don't want you sending me a friend request. Seriously, I. I get pride out of deleting people, okay? Boy, listen, uh, that's a whole nother story. You know how I feel about Facebook. I, I mean, really, but I, I watch it sometimes. I get like 18 friend requests. I'm not accepting anybody. Uh, but anyway, in case you say you want to buy a book. But anyway, he just posted, and I'm going to shut up and let, let Cher talk. He just posted that I'm going to be training with George South tonight, and my knee's feeling good. Now, normal people, which there ain't none left but the two that you're looking at, would have said, I'd like to encourage you, uh, Arn Anderson, on coming back. I'd like to, you know, just, I'm glad you're able to get back in the ring. No. This one goof named Harrison, you're the biggest idiot that I've met in my life. He don't know me. He, I've never, I've never screwed you on a payoff. I've never booked you on my show. But he puts on there just simply, well, I hope George works harder with you than he did this Saturday night. He's lazy. And he just went on for like half a page. Harrison, get a life, please. And naturally, uh, my Arn Harrison deleted it because, you know, my guy, because he, he, but it, listen, it can't hurt my feelings because I ain't got any, but that's what I'm talking about, boy. This goof has never met me. He doesn't even know anything about me. You got a right to dog me if I've screwed you, but at least let me make a dollar off of you, boy. That's my viewpoint on it. But anyway, I just think it's neat. Man, if I could have channeled this much heat when I was working for Crockett, whew, but we'd be paying somebody to do this show for us. You'd I'm be, just telling you that right now. You'd be taking with Greg the Hammer Valentine. But see, when people post stuff like that, it just proves that I'm right, Bullet. When I tell you, people people are stupid. Seriously, Bullet. They're just stupid. And and that's what I've always said. And you know it, Bullet. Nobody lifts nobody up. Nobody encouraged that they're just glad on Anderson's back in the ring from his blowed out knee. You know? Uh, nobody even said anything like that. Instead of even acknowledging him, they had to say something about George South. So, anyway, and it don't bother me. I'm telling you, you can't hurt my feelings. Who ain't got it? But anyway, I just want to throw that in our bullet. If anybody sees Harrison on the street, just call him an idiot, okay? Just call him an idiot that George South said he was an Eddie idiot. Eddie Harrison. Yeah. Harrison Ford? Well, yeah, uh, Eddie Harrison. Anyone. If, if Harrison's in his name, he's an idiot. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, well, that's enough of that. I like to lift people up. You know that bullet. Yeah. Uh, great, great book here, man. It's doing so good. I do. I have another case on the way for this weekend. Bullet. Man, where are you going this weekend, buddy? I got. I, it's, it's, not, it's a nice show, and I just got to ask two questions. Oh, where are you been? Where are you going? That's all I need. Well, everybody's gonna say, "Oh, man, every week." Oh, and I got another comment. Some goof commented last week that on my TV show, our TV show. See, oh. I include Cher. Oh, thank you. That as long as it's uh, George South TV. But anyway, but he said that he had a complaint that I that I call you bullet too much. What? Gas is twenty bucks a gallon. We're at war with Iraq. Kids can't win a ribbon at Dad Burn Field Day, and this goof is worried about me calling you Bullet. Let me explain something. That is his name, stupid. Okay? So that's why I call him Bullet. But anyway, I just throw it's that like in. like one there. guy's name is Arn Anderson, and, and we have black camera. That's exactly. Everybody's that's got exactly, a name. That's exactly right. It, okay? So what's the problem with that? 
So anyway, just a great week, boy. And I got I got big shows this weekend. We're taking uh, out, we're actually leaving Thursday night. Got a big huge fair up in Morganton, North Carolina, Burke County Fair. Uh, some of our good oh, friends. That's right. Uh, oh, I've, I've been here. A, a, a few of the Burke County boys will be there. Uh, you know, eating corn dogs, cotton candy, riding the uh, Ferris wheels. I found out when I found out it was that day, and I was very super upset about it. Well, I I, 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 I'm excited about seeing them. That'll be Thursday, Friday night. I got a ring route Saturday. Uh, headed down to Kings Mountain. Of course, you know the reason I'm going to Kings Mountain. Two shows, Kings Mountain, R.O.'s Barbecue is on the way. So, if, promoters, if you want to book me, if it's 85 South, I'm coming. Okay? Because that's what R.O.'s Barbecue Everything else, debatable point. Yeah, debatable point. Okay? Uh, we, we will talk money if it's 85 North. But 85 South, I may just come to eat at the barbecue place. But anyway, but I'm happy. I love everybody. Listen, folks, I tell you, you know, all these goofs that say all this stuff, and even that goofy, that, that idiot Harrison, you know, I, I, I mean that seriously. First time ever on this TV, I've got serious. You got to meet somebody first. You know what I'm saying, boy? In this business, and here's here's my point. I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna close this out, boy, because I got some guys to beat up. Brand new guy, night scared death in the ring. But uh, especially uh, after watching this TV show, oh, you got that right. Uh, but boy, listen. Here here's my whole point. And I said this to some guys Saturday, and you know this, boy. Any uh, here's here's how bad wrestling has got. And this is they can quote me on this and can put it on Facebook, whatever. But, boy, you know, any other sport, as you get older in our business, you're treated with respect. I don't care if you're Willie Mays. I don't care if you're Michael Jordan, Dr. J. You're treated with respect the longer you do it. But something happens in pro wrestling, whether it's Ric Flair, myself, or anybody that's done something that they loved for 40 years, you, be you become a joke. And, you know, my favorite band, Kiss, their drummer was asked this week. I know I jump all over the place, no, but, no, but they were asked no, bring this week. They were asked this week. I'll close it all up, as you know, or let you do it, Sherry. But they asked him, which which group was better, early Kiss or now? And he said something that meant so much. He said, folks, listen, you ought to just be glad that Kiss is still out there playing. Ain't that right, boy? Amen to that. I'm telling you. Folks, you ought to just be glad that a 50-year, soon-to-be 51-year-old, uh, in September, all you people will hear about where to send that birthday present. But anyway, that's beside the point. But you should just be glad that somebody is doing something that they love for a long time. Well, but the world ain't like that, you know. And of course, I told Harrison my last comment to him was, "You better get off Mom's computer before she gets home from work, because you'll probably shut it down." But anyway, but I just, I, I just hate that, you know. People, come on, get, get, get with the program. Okay, I'm gonna shut up, boy. But that is a good point. No. Any other, any other sport. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I just get aggravated that as pro wrestlers get older and they're still able to do something they love. And I mean, I'm impressed that I was able to walk two days later after taking a superplex. Man, that's impressive. Uh, but anyway, boy, instead of just, I, I, I never understood that. And here's another thing real quick, and I'm shutting up. Harrison made a comment that I'm lazy in the ring. Boy, the object of our business, which is going to be put on my tombstone, as you know, the object is don't take a bump. That is the object. The object of our business ain't to get it out and take a bump. Bullet, is it? But anyway, okay, I'm shutting up. I do got a co-host, a good-looking one at that, and I got to shut up because I do need to let you talk, Bullet. So anyway. No, like I said, it's always a good show, and it has two questions. Where, <laughs> where, where you been and where you're going. Man, so. I, but you go see, and here's, it, it, it makes you strong when, when you've had to do it all yourself, and and, and, and I, I'm telling you, I've forgotten more wrestling than most of those idiots will ever know. And I know that guy, you know, he, he probably just being stupid. But yeah, that's what I'm saying, guys. If you see some of these guys that have been doing it for a while, why don't you go up and thank them? You know, for, for giving me enjoyment all these years, uh, that's, the, that's the part I'm getting at. They look at us like, you know, you're an old man. You need to quit. But I don't get that. And I never will. And I don't want to get it, bullet. Uh, but anyway. I'll shut up. I'm getting teary eyed here, boy. Well, no, uh, I think it's either sweat or tears. I ain't sure. But well, that's the thing. It's like if you, you know, see Joe Joe Namath. Yeah. And he was on the field. Don't you think people would want to see him throw one more pass? That's exactly right. It's just even if it's to whatever wide receiver, just as a little exactly like right. for the hey Joe, why don't you throw one more pass? And then he throws a pass. Hey, and I, you know, everybody kind of wants to see that. But when there's like uh, George South got a uh, superplex with Bob Orton. Yeah. Oh, it must have been in, in like off. Oh, like oh, oh, exactly. Right. Yeah, they, they must have been drunk or something, or there hadn't have been nobody in the crowd. And because I even put the comment, yeah, I called that to take it. And one guy, one dude posted, well, then uh, if you called it, it sure wouldn't have been a superplex. And I'm thinking, what? You know, many years ago, and this is the last thing, bullet. Terry Bradshaw was on NFL Today as he does. I love Terry Bradshaw. And back in the day, when the Steelers were undefeated and stuff, he had a center named Mike Webster 
that was just his favorite center. And that special moment on TV, I'll even find footage of that, boy. If we're going to get sued, we're going to get sued by everybody. <laughs> but that, the, the, the TV, uh, you, NFL Day, actually brought out Mike Webster onto the set one day so Terry Bradshaw could go take a snap from him one last time. And I just think stuff like that special. I get very sentimental. I get a little teary-eyed. I may start singing, I got you, babe. I ain't sure, boy. But anyway, I just, I don't know. I just, people, you better, I don't care if you enjoy me or not. I don't care. I'm going to be around for a while. But I'm telling you, some of these legends like that, I even went up to Bob Orton when it was over and said, man, that was the most impressive thing that I've ever been part of in my life. He didn't have to come off that top rope. Heck, I didn't have to come off that top rope. Yeah, but anyway, so I get all fired up, bolt my head done, spun around three times like the exorcist. But uh, I'm just, I love everybody. Well, everybody. that's usually a cue to wrap this thing up. It's time yeah. to wrap it up. If it just went around twice, we haven't gone around <laughs> no, enough. <right>. So, uh, <laughs> gonna, if I take the head off and sit there, then we're definitely in trouble. Then we got a good one. But so. I do got a great book, folks. Listen, I hope you get, I want to appreciate everybody that buys it. Listen, I don't exactly, listen, I, lo I love this book, man. It's, it's my favorite thing. I don't care if you use it for a tea glass. I just appreciate all of you for buying it. I do got another case coming. It's going to be on some tables this week. Boy. So I'm a happy person right now. Well, this has been another uh, edition of Dad, You Don't Work. A long one at that. By the way, I think next week's 30. 30. Week. That's 30. We will maybe even have a little birthday. Well, a little cupcake. Uh, uh, birthday well, cake costs too much money. Exactly. Uh, we'll have a little fake cake or something. Maybe we'll, we'll, cook, cupcakes or we'll just find one of these wig heads and stick a candle in it that we put our hoods on. Okay. And we'll save money that way. We but do. we're soon approaching 30 episodes. And to wrap all this up, just be glad that Sonny and Cher have been around for 30 episodes. That's right. That's a good way to end it. That, that was perfect. I'm, I'm not going to do another ending. That was perfect. I love that.